gentlemen, this is Vince Miller. Thank you so much for joining me for this devotional. Today we're in Daniel chapter 1. I'm going to read verses 1 through 2. It states, In the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came to Jerusalem, that's the holy city, and besieged it. So he took it. And the Lord gave Jehoiakim, king of Judah, into his hand with some of the vessels of the house of God. So no, you're not experiencing deja vu. I did just read the same verses I read yesterday, but today I want to highlight some of the characters because we need to know them to actually understand the backstory. So first here we have a man named Jehoiakim. He is the 18th king of Judah, and he was not appointed by God or its people. He was actually appointed by the Egyptian Pharaoh, who in some ways controlled Judah at that time. Jehoiakim was about 25 when he came to power and he ruled for about 11 years and is described by biblical authors as a horrible, horrible man and king. He had sex with his mother, he had sex with his daughter-in-law and his stepmother, he murdered men, raped their wives, stole their property, he even performed an epispasm on himself. You're probably wondering what an Epispasm is, it's a reverse circumcision. So he had his foreskin restored on his, woohoo, <laughs> to hide the fact that he was a Jew. That's why he did it. And in addition, he tattooed his body, which was prohibited by his own religious law. But most notably and most heinously, he removed God's name from parts of the Bible and burned them. So we might say that this guy wasn't such a great guy. <laughs> Second, in this text, we have a man named Nebuchadnezzar. And historically, this is Nebuchadnezzar II. He is also known as Nebuchadnezzar the Great. He ruled Babylon for about 43 years and became a superpower during his time. He just kept taking over land after land after land and constructing new buildings during a time when Egypt and Israel was in decline. And the city of Babylon was massive and glorious. And that's where Daniel begins. Israel and Jerusalem, the holy city, are in complete disarray. And God's people are taken captive. And as we read this book, we're going to get to know Nebuchadnezzar and his little temper tantrums even more. Now, third, we have Daniel. He's unnamed in this text, of course. But... The book is about him. Daniel is a teenager when he's taken into captivity. He becomes a refugee in the city of Babylon. And for the following 12 chapters of this book, we're going to get an overview of his life and his prophecies. And what I love about this book is that Daniel tells us the story of his captivity and he's going to be faithful from beginning to end. All 70 years of his life, he's going to be faithful. So right from the start, we have images of three men, an unfaithful king, an enemy king, and a man who worshiped the only king. <laughs> and in Daniel, we're going to learn from him how to suffer persecution under the reign of not just one king, but five enemy kings over 70 years, and thus how we can remain faithful as we experience the same. <laughs> so fellas, if you've been looking for how to be faithful in oppressive times, this is the book. Daniel is the man, and he's going to show us how. So get ready for a great read. I love you guys. Thanks for joining me today. I hope it's blessed you. If it has, bless someone else by sharing it with them. And I'll see you right back here tomorrow for different verses in the book of Daniel.